Hello guys, how are you? You are welcome in my YouTube channel Tech Titans. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about Chola Dynasty. So, and this is part one. Uh, next week, I will upload part two. So let's get started. Introduction: The Chola Dynasty was a Tamil Thalassocratic Empire of Southern India, and it was one of the longest ruling dynasties in the world history. At first, we will discuss about the rulers of the Chola dynasty. The first ruler of the Chola dynasty was Vijayala Chola. He ruled from 848 AD to 891 AD. Now, let's discuss about his contributions. He was the founder of the Chola dynasty. He took the title of Parakesari Varman and he also built the Solswara temple of Nartamallai Pudukottai. The second ruler of the Chola dynasty was Aditya I, who ruled from 870 AD to 907 AD. Now let's talk about his contributions. He was known by the surname Kodan Dharama. He was the son of Vijayala Chola, who extended the Chola dominions by the conquest of the Pallavas and occupied the Western Ganga Kingdom. He built 108 temples for Shiva along the banks of Kaveri. The third ruler of the Chola dynasty was the Parantaka Chola one, who ruled from 907 AD to 950 AD. So now let's talk about his contributions. He took the title of Madurayam, Elamam, Konda, Parakesari Varman, which means the Parakesari Varman who conquered Madurai and Sri Lanka. The fourth ruler of the Chola dynasty was Gandhara Ditya Chola, who ruled from 950 AD to 957 AD. Now let's talk about his contributions. He was known as the Marki Elandarulina Devan, which means the king who was pleased to go west. He had written Tamil hymn on Shiva of the Chidambaram temple. He was a reluctant monarch and focused more on religious work and not on empire building. The fifth ruler of the Chola dynasty was Arinjaya Chola. He ruled from 956 AD to 957 AD. He was also referred by the names Arikula Kesari, Ari Kesari or Arindama. His name is mentioned in some of the Gandhara inscriptions as Alvar Arikula Kesari Deva. The sixth ruler of the Chola dynasty was Sundara Chola. He ruled from 957 AD to 970 AD. He was known by the name Madhur, uh, Madhurantakan Sundara Chola and Parantaka Chola too. During his reign, both the Sanskrit and Tamil literature received encouragement. The Buddhist work on Tamil grammar Virasolium eulogizes him as a patron of letters and of Buddhism. The seventh ruler of the Chola dynasty was Uttama Chola. He ruled from 970 AD to 985 AD. He was the son of the illustrious Sembian Mahadevi and the cousin of Parantika II. The eighth ruler of the Chola dynasty was Rajaraja Chola I. He ruled from 985 AD to 1012 AD. He built the Brihadeshwar temple in Tanjavur, one of the largest Hindu temples. During his reign, the texts of Tamil poets Upper, Sambandar, and Sundarar were collected and edited into one compilation called Tiru Murai. The ninth Chola king was the Rajendra Chola one. He ruled from 1012 to 1044 AD. He built a new capital city called Gangai Konda Cholapuram to commemorate his victory after defeating Mahipala and the Pala king of Bengal and Bihar. He built 16 miles long and 3 miles wide artificial lake 
which was one of the largest man-made lakes in India. The 10th ruler of the Chola dynasty was the Raja Dhiraja Chola who ruled from 1044 to 1054 AD. He assumed the title of Jain Gond Chola. He maintained the Chola authority for over most of Lanka, Vengi, Kalinga etc. He performed the horse sacrifice and earned the title Jayamakond Cholan which means the Victorian Cho victorious Cholan and he was also known as the Vijaya Rajendra Cholan which means the victorious Rajendra Cholan. The 11th ruler of the Chola dynasty was the Rajendra Chola II who ruled from 1054 AD to 1063 AD. He is best remembered for his role in the battle of Kuppam along with his elder brother where he dramatically turned towards the Chalukyan king Somshwara I after the death of his brother in 1052. The 12th ruler of the Chola dynasty was Virajendra Chola. He ruled from 1063 to 1070 AD. He was one of the most underrated Chola kings mainly because a major part of his life was spent as a subordinate of his two elder brothers Raja Dhiraja Chola I and Rajendra Chola II. The famous grammatical work in Tamil Virasolium was written by Buddha Mitra during his period. The 13th ruler of the Chola dynasty was Kulotunga Chola I. He ruled from 1070 to 1122 AD. He got the title Kulotunga literally meaning the exalter of his race. Famous poet Jayamukandar who wrote the poem Kalingatu Parani to celebrate the military victories of Kulotunga Chola was one of the gems of his court. He established Chola overlordship over the Sri Vijaya province Keda in Malaysia. So, thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Please share and like this video. And for more these type of interesting videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And this was the part 1 of the Chola dynasty. The part 2 will release soon. Till that time, bye bye.